Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see the relationship between degree rank and page rank. That is we are going to see whether they correlate with each other or not. Uh, we are going to see whether the nodes which have less degree do they have less page rank and vice versa. So in order to check this we are going to use citation network which is a directed graph. I already have downloaded it from snap repository so I am going to use that. So let's start the implementation. Let me show you the uh, citation data set, how it looks like. So this is the citation data set. As you can see, it is in the form of edge list. Uh, every row contains an edge. Uh, these are the IDs of the research papers. So if you take an uh, edge, it indicates that the first paper is citing the second paper. So the paper which uh, with ID 17 is citing the paper with ID 18. So this is the sort of information that we have. Uh, let's uh, implement this now. Uh, since the network is in the form of edge list, we are going to use the function read edge list in order to read it into a graph object. First of all, let me import network x. We are going to uh, plot the results. So let me import matplotlib. Okay, so let's start the main function. We have to read the uh, network. So g is equal to nx dot read edge list. The network name is citation dot txt. Since we have to create a directed graph, we will write create using is equal to nx dot graph now since this is a directed graph we are going to keep a track of the in degrees of the nodes and uh, that is basically what we will compare with the page rank so we have to check whether a node which has uh, more in, deg in degree that is more number of in links does it have more page rank as well or not and vice versa so let's first uh, get all the in degrees uh, we can use a function g dot in degree for that purpose now what this function returns is a dictionary so this uh, this is going to be a dictionary where the keys are going to be the nodes and the values are going to be the the in degree values of these nodes similarly uh, in order to compute the page rank we are going to use the inbuilt function from network x we'll write page rank is equal to nx dot page rank of g Again, page rank function will return a dictionary where the keys are the nodes and the values are the page rank values of these nodes. Since these two are two uh, different dictionaries and we have to plot them, uh, we basically are going to keep uh, the, the in degree values on the x axis and the corresponding page rank values on the y axis. Uh, since these are two different dictionaries, let's, uh, let's keep one of them in the order of the other. Uh, so I'm going to create a list to keep the uh, page rank values in the same order in which degree values are coming. So I'm creating this list page rank values is equal to uh, a list. So I'm going to uh, create this list which will have the page rank values of the nodes in the same order in which they are appearing in this degree uh, dictionary. Okay. So for that I'm starting a loop in degree dot keys so degree dot keys will give the uh, keys in the sequence then we'll append the page rank values page rank values dot append what do we have to append we have to append the page rank value of the corresponding node i okay so we'll write page rank of i Okay, so we got the uh, both the things in the same sequence and then we can plot them. So I'll write plt dot plot. On the x-axis we have in degrees which are available in this dictionary. So we will write degree dot values. Okay, corresponding to, to these degree values, what are the page rank values is what is available in PR values list that we just created. 
let's display it in red circles we can also change the marker size uh, okay let's also give the labels decrease of the notes and we can also give the y label on y axis we have page ranks page rank values okay uh, after that we have to show so we'll write plt dot show sorry okay then we will call this main function uh, this should work let's see how it works as you can see in the plot degree and page rank values are not correlated with each other because if they if they had been correlated they would have been a linear uh, sort of plot over here which is not there and also you can see that uh, there are a few nodes which have um, high in degree however very less page rank for example if you take this node it has um, uh, high in degree but if you look at its page rank which is less in the context of citation network it, it indicates that uh, th this is a research paper which is being cited by a number of uh, other papers however the those papers are not so important right that's why uh, this paper got less page rank similarly if you look at the other side you have a few nodes which have very less in degree however very high page rank now in the context of citation network it indicates that these are the research papers which are being cited by very less other papers however those papers are very important themselves that is those papers are being cited by a lot of other papers or those papers are being cited by a lot of important papers so uh, the the conclusion is that in degree and ra page rank values are not correlated with each other. Mm -hmm.